So we're going to start with our star book by folding in half with a good crease. And I'm purposely choosing to start my fold pattern to pattern. So I'm going to open it up again and I'm going to fold it the opposite way. And open it up again. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to choose to do one diagonal fold with a really good fold and a tight crease. And then I'm going to open it up again and fold it back to the colored side. And then I'm going to kind of poke this to the middle so that the folds fold up and it folds into a smaller square. So you can tell that when I go to glue everything on, it's going to, my color is going to be on the, around the outside. So I'm going to do the same thing with all of my folds. Do my crease, open it up, do my crease again, open it up, fold it, do a diagonal fold, and the sharper the crease is, the easier it is to get your paper to fold correctly. Fold again. Okay. I'm going to flip. We're going to fold on a diagonal for our last one. So we have a mouth and a tail on all of them, and we're going to stack them um, we're going to take the glue and we're going to glue onto the top and stack the next one on as evenly as you can. Because you want it to be able to unfold like that. So we're just going to keep on stacking. And because I only have two colors, two types of paper, it's pretty easy for me to alternate. Sometimes you might have five different patterns and then you kind of have to give an eye as to how you want it to look when you're all done. I'm going to green. And my last one will be the blue. So now, eventually when I open them all up, it's going to look like this. Okay, so then you're going to choose some mat board um, and you're going to flip them over so you see the backs of them and you want just, you want them, you don't want them touching. You want just a little bit of space so that there's room for the ribbon to fold for the book. Um, and you also want them on the diamond shape there. So we're going to take our glue and glue all the way across there and there. 
we're going to fold our ribbon in half and just give just a little bit of extra room on this side. So that we fold straight across. So then, finding our tail where everything is, we're going to go ahead and glue it here. And we're just using regular glue sticks. Um, this brand is pretty tacky and gives a good seal, gives a good hold on the glue. And then we're going to do this one. probably want yours to sit and dry for a little bit, but then in the end your star book is going to end up like this. So on this side, you could write a poem or a letter. Um, you could write something on here. You could just hang them from the mobile, however you'd like to do it. And if you can put the ribbons together, the bead through. And then you need to twist this bit. So our second one is for our accordion fold. Again, you'll need a ribbon and a bead, a couple of rectangles of mat. So this is just a basic back and fold, forth fold. So it's easy to use this one as a guide and to fold maybe just a little bit shorter than your mat. So that's about how I want it. So I'm just going to go back and forth with my fold. And then I may have just a little bit of excess that I'm going to cut off here, just to even it up. There's my extra. So this is how it's going to be. If you wanted it to be longer, you could use two pieces of paper and to glue the first and the second piece together so that it would be twice as long. Okay. So then, we're just going to glue the top of this one. Actually, I guess this is going to be our bottom. For our top, we're going to glue, we're going to glue the top.
This is probably way too long of a string, but that's okay. I need the extra for the bead. I'm going to center it as much as I can. this way to keep the whole book together. And just cut off that little extra so they're the same length at the top. So then when you open it, you have decoration that way, or you can write something on the back side. And if you want to make it longer, you could have done two of these and glued them together. And that is how you make the accordion book. One of my colleagues, Amber, went to a class on how to make these books, and then she taught everybody else. And I have taught this to adults and to teens and to tweens. So I know that you can do it. Um, and I'm going to try to teach you a basic fold and then show you all your options for how to do it. This is kind of what the book looks like. And then depending on how you glue it together, it opens up so you could, you can use the B to kind of close it up. You could make it hanging on it. This one is all stamped, but you could write um, a letter inside. You could write a poem inside. And the other way to fold it is to fold it like this. It's the same fold, it's just glued differently. So same thing, and we can add a ribbon to this too, although it won't fold up into the star shape like this. The one other option that you can do is you can make a one that looks like this, which is just a basic accordion fold, which makes it a little easier if you want to write like a letter or a book, because there's blank on both sides. So. And if this is not long enough for your letter, you can glue two strips together and make a really long one. <laughs> so this one, I know you can do. Um, this is just fold back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. So this one, you all have blank pieces of paper in front of you so that you can learn to practice <laughs> before you use the pretty paper. <laughs> um, but once you get the fold down, then I have all sorts of different paper and patterns and colors and you can mix and match and this is kind of the fun part where you get to figure out use your artistic side and try to decide what color goes with what color um, I have this I have plain paper I have other scrapbook paper so if you see something that you really need we can we can cut some more these are just four by so these are four by four inches um, I have a few. I have a few of these. So if you want to make the same thing, but in a bigger version, 
you can. So this is what we're going to do with this. So, uh, and because I have taught this to kids and teens, um, I'm going to tell you to fold things like a hot dog and whatnot, and because <laughs> that's the way I learned it. So we're going to start with our piece of paper, and we're going to fold it in half, and creases are going to make your life really helpful. So crease it really well and make your folds as even and straight as you can. And then you're going to open it up and you're going to fold it the other way. I'm going to borrow your table for a minute so I can get my crease really well. Okay. So then you're going to open it up. So here's the important part. Um, you're going to flip it over. And then you're going to fold it one time diagonally. Yep, so just, yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Okay, I'll come around just a minute. So then you're going to open it up again and you're going to flip it back over to the original side where you had first folded it. And then you're just going to kind of poke it in the middle and it should all fold upon itself. You got it? You got it. Did you get it? Good job. <laughs> okay. Still didn't get it. Okay, so you folded it this way and this way, and then you flipped it over and folded it that way. So then we're going to flip it back over so the side. Um, there, you got it. And you got it. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, did we get this one? No. All right, so you folded it and you folded it and you diagonal fold and fold and then you did the diagonal wait a minute. please slow down okay <laughs> try and figure out where you did it you can do you it, got it. You, <laughs> no, it's, it's, you folded it correctly I can't though remember we should do it again at airway heights i know there's six of us from airway heights for sure and, <laughs> and some others that would know us i know like us. okay <laughs> go ahead and fold it in half and then open it up open up and, nope open it up so that it's still that way so that your fold is on the, the bottom. And then you're going to fold it that way. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> you got it. There you go. And that's the last one? Nope. So now you're going to open it up again so it's one big piece of paper. And you're going to flip the whole thing over. And now you're going to do one diagonal fold. Up this way. Yep, up that way. We remember how to do this, so when I come to your house, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Okay, okay. now you're going to open it flat again, and you're going to flip the whole thing over. There you go. And then we're just going to kind of poke and poke fold. fold. Poke yes. and fold. Okay. Okay, thank you, ma'am. So, well, you're welcome. I'll be here. All right, so remember... I use this to teach the kids. So we have a frog, the mouth, and the tail. So when you glue, you're going to make four or five of these, whatever colors or patterns that you want. And when you glue to make this one, you're going to glue, you're going to glue so that well, you are yours. So that the tail sits right in the same position as the tail, so tail to tail to tail to tail. And you're going to glue those different, the bottom to the top. How far are we? 
the whole thing. Oh, the whole so thing. this whole thing will be covered with glue oh, and then you'll okay. just put it right on top so that it's in the exact same position. Okay? The, the, the tail is the tight end, yeah. the corner. Yeah, so the, the mouth is here. Yeah. I just don't have the imagination. So this one is four. Um, I would go no bigger than six. So I would do four, five, or six. If you want to do this, you glue opposite. So when you layer them, you do head to tail, head to tail, help head to tail. If you do this one, you want an odd number. Okay, I know it's a lot of decisions already. <laughs> Um, so we'll start with this and then we'll get to the part maybe as you finish individually we'll show you how to choose your covers and how to glue it on the covers that way. If you are done with this and you're like, forget it, I don't want it, <laughs> you can do this. <laughs> so, uh, back and forth and back and forth, but I know you can do this. <laughs> Christine, if all else fails, it's Margarita Day. Oh, excellent! <laughs> if all else fails, Margarita Day. Um, you're going to edit some of this, right, Sarah? All right. Yes. So now comes the fun part where you get to choose your papers. So, I know. And I think, does everyone want to do, is anyone going to do the really big one? Or are you going to stick with the small one? Small, okay. Then I'm just going to move this stuff aside. Actually, yes, I'm going to move this stuff aside and have you come up and figure out. Um, four, five, or six. Yeah. This is a four. Let me see if I have another one. Oh, those are all folded a different way. I think this is only, well, this you can see, this is all, this is a five, but it's, it's much, it's on a bigger scale because it's the bigger ones. So, I'm going to let you just, I'm going to spread all these out, and I'm going to let you come up, and I'm going to let tail. you choose what it is that you want, and we can pick, I have a scrapbook, these are all cut to size already, so I can, we can do other ones, we can cut, I have a whole book full of them, I have plain paper full of them. So come on up and, and kind of look through your colors and figure out what it is that you need. And you will need um, the mat board for top and the bottom. And they come in all colors as well. We have some plain and some... There's some plain and there's some patterned. And we can do more. Four, five, or six. Yeah, the one I the one you're showing is that one four. This one is a four. Okay, I like that. And then, <laughs> as you figure it out, I'll come around and I will show you a couple of choices on your folding. So 